Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through the basics of using the pre and post increment when working with pointers. We'll start by setting up a basic C++ program in our text editor. Inside our main function, we'll initialize a double as a pointer and we'll set its value to null pointer. Our null PTR, <clears throat> this is also known as the pointer literal. Next, we'll initialize an int variable called num. We'll prompt the user to enter a number. And we'll take in their input as num. Next, we'll dynamically allocate memory for an array of doubles that matches the length of the user input using the following syntax. New double num. Or we'll create two for loops. Our first for loop will iterate through the array, allocating memory for each of our doubles. Our second for loop will output the array to the user. Here we'll use the pre increment to output the pointer array to the to the user. And now we'll compile the code. We're asked to enter a number. Then we're given back some obvious output. The pre increment plus plus star p has two operators of the same precedence, so the compiler looks for associativity. This moves from right to left. Therefore, the expression is treated as plus plus in parentheses star p. It dereferences the pointer, assigns x to the underlying value, and then increments the pointer to the next element. Here you can see that the precedence of the prefix plus plus and star as pointer is the same. Now let's try this very same code with the post increment. We'll clear the screen, compile our code again. Enter a number. And instead of the obvious output we were given back with the pre increment, we're given back what appears to be garbage. This is actually the floating point numerical representation of our array. But to help clean this eyesore, we can set an original for loop to increment for plus five. Compile the code again. <clears throat> the post increment star p plus plus is treated as star p plus plus in parentheses as the precedence of postfix plus plus 
is higher than the pointer. So first it dereferences P and then it increments the underlying value. The pointer doesn't change and then it assigns the resulting value to X. At first, this may seem confusing. The code itself looks somewhat basic, streamlined, but you may be asking yourself, what's the point of applying operators or increments to memory? Therein lies a fundamental aspect of design philosophy behind C++, having complete access over your program's memory. This is something you don't often get with higher level code, and having control over these abstractions will help you to become a more tenacious coder. Mm -hmm.